Now we're going to prepare for the script reading. First, I'd like to invite up to the stage Mr. Michael McConaughey, voice of Trax and Tyler. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Wally Burr. Assisting with the script. Now I'd like to introduce Mr. Paul Davids, the writer of the script, Return of Prem Z. actually for the last three years, four months. I'm sick! And um, uh, actually, uh, Pete called me up about four years ago and suggested that we uh, work on this. It's been through 670 drafts. I'm sick! Uh, here I am st stealing your part. That's line reading. I don't like it. Uh, <laughs> we'll work on it until we get it right. Six hours from now, you'll excuse me. but. Uh, I had the, uh, the honor and privilege of uh, being at uh, 80 of those Transformer uh, voice sessions. Uh, I'm still recovering <laughs> after all these years, so um, it was fun to write this with uh, Pete Sinclair, who helped uh, so much and got the idea that we should bring back Kremzeek tonight. Not our Wally Burr, who uh, did the original voice of Kremzeek. So let's take it away, Wally, it's your night nice next announce that we're being honored today by the leader of the Generation 1 Autobots, Optimus Prime. Let's hear it for Optimus! <laughs> Optimus has brought with him today Trax and Cosmos, so take it away Optimus! Attention all United States Transformers fans. We're making history today at BotCon. For the first time ever, BotCon has arranged a special live communication 
between the Pasadena Convention Center here in Southern California and a convention of Japanese Transformer fans in Tokyo. <laughs> How exactly do you figure on linking us up, Prime? <laughs> Cosmos and I will use Sky Spy's live transmission beams to bring us a hologram communication direct from Japan's Transformers convention, which is taking place right now at the famous Shibuya Center in Tokyo. Prime, I hear that they've got the new Mazda RX-8 model at the Shibuya Center. <laughs> you have time to see it? Let's make the time! <laughs> I, I mean, Jazz told me, confidentially, of course, he's thinking of an upgrade. <laughs> no problem. With a new transmission hologram beam technology, we can actually look at it right here. Is Bumblebee out there in the audience? He's in the dealer room, trying to uh, buy one of those collector G2 breakdowns. Uh, offered <laughs> exclusively by uh, Botcom 2004. Just in case you're wondering. <laughs> but Brian, he just found out that he had to be at the Botcon breakfast this morning to get one. No. Yes, Bumblebee's <laughs> one bummed out Autobot. <laughs> in fact, I think he's having a nervous breakdown because he can't buy a breakdown. <laughs> I told him to be at the Botcon breakfast. Which is all I thought. But enough about that. <laughs> We're here to pay tribute to both Japanese and American Transformer fans today. Mm -hmm. Power the transmission beams. Bumblebee should get in here and see this. He told me he thought we Autobots would never use transmission beams again after what happened that time with Megatron and his demented little powery fuzzball. Ah! Kremzik. <laughs> That Electro Monster was quite a little circuit scrambler. Prime, uh, we have Mr. Takemoto in Japan signaling that he's ready. Good. I will start the hologram link. Ah, hello, Optimus. Hello, Trax, Cosmo, and all American Transformer fans. This is the kind of thing would happen, I'd interrupt and they'd say, oh, shit. <laughs> like to request one thing. Come in a little louder as though you're projecting over a long distance system. It's psychologically, you know, appropriate. Right? Right. I'm always right. Ah, hello Optimus. Hello Traps, Cosmos, and the old American Transformer fans. I am Kikuma Takemoto. Here in Tokyo, Japan. Uh, very happy to see you all. Uh, thanks to Transmission Beam Hologram. We're very happy to see you too, Ikoma. Or Ikoma. <laughs> <laughs> Kikuma Takemoto. I'm relieved. <laughs> nice to meet you, Kikuma. We're happy to see you too. Today is an honor and privilege for all Autobots. Uh, excuse me, Optimus, but could you ask Mr. Takemoto if he could bring the Mazda RX? <laughs> I just want to see it. Tracks. Later, tracks. <laughs> Can't you see that I'm speaking? <laughs> <clears throat> yes, well, accept our gratitude, Mr. Uh, Kikuma, and that you are able to join us today. Oh. I did say that right, didn't I? <laughs> How did I do that? Let's move it along. <laughs> I'd like to read my line again. <laughs> I loved it. Uh... You mean you don't want me to read it again? <laughs> I've read it too damn many times already. Tell him how to read it. Oh, oh, this is the way that should be. What's the line? 
please accept our gratitude that you're able to join us today, Mr. Takamoto. Can you do that any louder, please? <laughs> you have sorry. a promo session later? Never mind. <laughs> Optimus does not yell. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Please accept our gratitude that you are able to join us today, Mr. Takamoto. Oh, uh, thank you, Optimus. You're welcome. Uh, oh, I heard you speaking a moment ago of uh, Klimzik. No need to worry about him anymore. Huh? Klimzik has been rocked away in a circuit track for almost 20 years. Uh, are you doing that in Japanese or English? What I'd like to do, you want me to do in Scotland? <laughs> 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 